Welcome to this week's Did You Know with the Ann Arbor News. I'm General Assignments reporter Ben Freed, and this week we're going to find out, did you know why Ann Arbor has a bison herd? This herd's been around since 1993, and we started with a bull and a cow, so we just started with two animals, and now we've grown it to 90 head. 99? 90. 90. Yep, we stand at 90 head right now. And how many of the herd that are here right now were born here? About 40%. And where do the rest come from? Other ranches from across the country. They, they've actually become our uh, our symbol now, our logo. And um, Mr. Monaghan just always liked them and started with a few and grew to this. So. So we're, we've been working on establishing quality genetics around here, and so we show at the National Bison Association show, and we also show in Harrisburg at the Eastern Bison Association show. So we'll take some of our top calves to those, and then other the other calves we sell to other ranches that are starting to grow their herds. Crocker's been working at the farm for 23 years, and has been caring for the bison since they first arrived. So our largest bull on property right now is 1,900 pounds. Our new and up and coming bull, his dad was 2,200 pounds. So they can, a good cow is 1,200 pounds. Your bulls you want to be at between 1,900 and 2,300 pounds. It's on cracked corn, oats, wheat, molasses, and there's a mineral in there as well, and a vitamin pack for their health. The care put into feeding and breeding the herd has paid off. It's won multiple awards, including a grand champion female in 2010. What is the difference between buffalo and bison? There really isn't a difference. There used to be a lot of political debate about that. Most, most people in the industry raising bison refer to them as bison, and really that's it. But the names can be interchanged. 